Hello friends, this is Ubesh, a founder of BinaryUpdates.com and if you're an aspiring embedded system engineer and if you have a question, what are those industries where embedded system engineers are very much in demand, then this video is for you. I have listed down 10 different industries for you where the embedded engineer are very much in demand. So the first industry is consumer electronics. So you look at a lot of different products around you at your home and surroundings, which includes a television, air conditioner, wash machines, geysers and all other stuff. These are the consumer electronics products of course not to forget the music system that you have at your home so the companies who make this kind of products very usually hire embedded engineers to design those products then the healthcare and medical electronics so look at the products like a ct scan machine x-ray machine stethoscope and all other digital equipments which are used in the healthcare right now you will see they are usually built with the embedded sensors and processors and all other things and these are the industries where people hire these embedded engineers to write the software and design the hardware for the products. Then robotics and computer industry. In the robotics, doesn't matter you take the normal hobby robots like the robots racing or pick and place in the industry into the manufacturing or you can take an example of the drones or something like that or any industrial robots, you see the microcontrollers, motors, sensors, and all other things will be there to drive those equipments and the components onto the, onto the product. You need to write an embedded software for that. And this is the reason why the robotics industry very usually hire embedded system engineers. Then the computer hardware. When you look at the computer hardware, computer in itself is a system. And the computer uses a different interface like a memory interface to interface the RAM and hard drive, then the camera interface for your webcam and then PCI interface and all other interfaces. And these are very well known for embedded engineers because they study about this things protocol, implement it, write the software for it. So the embedded engineer are very usually hired by this computer hardware companies as well. And that includes Dell, HP and other companies. Then drones is another area to look out for because a lot of development is happening around the drones so no drone controller i have seen so far which doesn't include microcontroller and microprocessor and of course the drone comes with a lot of different sensors that include the accelerometer the temperature sensors it has the cmos imaging sensor as well to carry out the computer vision applications and all other things and you see embedded engineers are very huge in demand to write the software for the drones as well and drone is very associated with the autonomous vehicle so we'll see into some other video about that so drone is another futuristic industry where the embedded engineer are very much in demand and you kind of see a lot of startups in the area of drone are hiring of embedded engineers then the manufacturing industry in the manufacturing there's something called smart factories is coming up where the traditional pneumatic and hydraulic component will get controlled by the embedded processors by writing the firmware onto it and these are, you know, the manufacturing and the automation industry uses a lot of this RS-232, 485, Modbus, this kind of protocols. And these protocols and the, the software for these protocols will be written by the embedded software engineers. So uh, very much in demand this embedded engineer right now into this manufacturing and the automation industry. Then another area to look out for is the artificial intelligence. Now, many people say artificial intelligence is all about the data science and machine learning and all other things. And I agree the fact up to a certain point because even to run this machine learning or AI algorithm, you need to run those algorithms onto the embedded processors. And the knowledge of embedded system is very important. That's why you see all those companies that includes NVIDIA, NXP, and all other companies are hiring for embedded engineers to design their futuristic chips, which can run the artificial intelligence algorithm. And very soon you will see the companies will start making the product, making use of those chips to build the real product. And that's how I see uh, artificial intelligence also in the area of artificial intelligence the companies has already started hiring the embedded engineers for the embedded AI roles and then comes the telecommunication in the telecommunication industry you cannot able to make any telecom hardware because those are usually uh, depends or used uh, the embedded protocols and to build those kind of hardware you need to have a good understanding of the network protocols like 5g 4g GSM network connectivity and all other things and embedded engineers are very good at this because they bring the electronics, hardware and software knowledge together. 
So in telecommunication is also the area where a huge embedded engineers get hired right now. Then the aerospace and the automobile industry. Talking about automobile industry, there's a huge shift going on. The traditional vehicle is transforming into electric vehicle and autonomous vehicle. You can't make any product, any vehicle to be an automated and electric without embedded chips and sensors. Look at this modern cars and look at the software, look at the hardware around it. You will clearly see the mechanical components are reducing and the electronics and the software components is increasing into these products and that generates a lot of demand of embedded system engineers to build this futuristic electric vehicle and autonomous vehicle sort of products. Then comes the power electronics. In power electronics, a lot of different products will be used to build by writing the microcontroller firmware to design sophisticated regulated power supply and that also generates a lot of needs for embedded engineers to hire to write the firmware or to design the power supply hardware like a PCB design or hardware design engineers or simulation sort of stuff and that also generates the need for embedded engineer for these people. Then the last and tenth one is the internet of things. What to say about internet of things? It's all about sensors and gateways and servers and cloud. You cannot able to collect the data from the sensors to generate the wireless sensor network to control centrally any system uh, without writing the code onto the IoT gateways and IoT node and all other things. And that generates a massive amount of requirements in industry for the embedded system engineers. So IoT is not possible without embedded system and you see a huge IoT company, a lot of IoT companies are hiring a lot of embedded system engineers right now. Don't take my words, go to any job search engine website and then just search for IoT and embedded system and you can able to see a lot of job description where they talk about the knowledge of embedded processors, microcontroller processor, programming and software application development is must skills to bring on the table. So these are you know the few industries which hire very aggressively embedded system engineers. If you are an aspiring embedded system engineer and you want to build a rock solid foundation in the in the field of embedded system then check out the link in the video description and we at binary updates create the awesome courses to help you become a successful embedded system engineers for the future i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we'll see us into the next video bye bye for now